Right, so I've got my ordered data here and this has just been set up as an Excel table and I've created this pivot table here. So you can download this spreadsheet, links in the description, no details required, anything like that, straight down on your PC so you can work along. Now we want to go into pivot table styles. So in the design tab, if you're in the pivot table, you can click down and you can pick a style and you can hover over these and just see them sort of populating what they might look like. Now I'm going to pick this one at the moment because I've got very subtotals and things and having these extra lines in there is quite useful, I think. So I'm going to pick that one. So get your pivot table style and you're already looking like a great little report now. Next up, modify your styles, create your own style. So, we go back on the design, I'm just gonna pin that for the time being. So, let's say we wanted to just play around with this. I don't like the way, for example, that, you know, we've got this looking very similar colors to the rows above and things like that. So, if we go on here, we can duplicate it, and then we'll get a modified style. Now we can give it any name we want, I'm just going to leave it like that for the time being. And let's just alter a couple of things. So the header row, for example, we can format, do anything like this. So I'm just going to make that one shade darker and we'll make sure the font's white and it is. So that's that. And then We've clicked OK, but nothing's changed, you might think. And that's because it's up here as a new custom style. So this was the one I designed before, which you can see there. But let's just leave it on this one for the time being, because there's a few other things I changed. You can then modify this to your heart's content and just keep saving it. So as well as the header row, for example, I did the uh, row subheading, which again I filled by making just a bit darker. So I applied that. That gave me a slightly different heading here to break it out from those subtotals. So that's good. Other things you might like to do grand total row, for example. So I filled this with that darker color again, changed the font to white. Okay, that. So when you go to the bottom, you'll see it's like that. So we're already looking a lot, lot better. And then this filter being white, again, not happy with that. I'll modify that. Report filter labels. So the font at the moment is dark. Do that again. We'll just match this to the rest. We'll do that. And again, here, and the font white. There we go. And we can now right click on that and set that as our default style. So any new pivot tables we want to build in this spreadsheet, we can build in exactly the same way. So that is modifying your own custom style. Hope those tips were useful. If you want more, check out my playlist on pivot table tips and of course, Download that spreadsheet if you want all of the examples and remember, subscribe to my channel. See you soon.